Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to take a screenshot from the UI path and save it to a specific folder with a specific name. Okay, now I will open the UI path studio. Okay, I will create a sequence. I'll keep this one aside, the existing one. In this sequence, I will add the text screenshot. Okay, and uh, I'd also add save image. Okay, so if I if I'm not taking anything in this one, by default it will take the whichever is active screen. So first I'll take the screenshot into a variable. Okay, so image. And this one is the image name as image and uh, I'll keep this as new screenshot new screenshot dot PNG okay now if I execute this one where it will save is it will save it in the your documents via path okay so this one what is the sequence name is the parameterization I'll quickly run this one and we'll see I'll take this one to the start note okay and uh, I'll keep this in this double quotes and I'll run this one okay it runs it is executed and it will go to quickly parameterization set new screenshot is taken which is active currently okay so i'll i'll give a folder name also to this one and i'll show you how it will work okay so for example if i want to save in one of the folder example in my folder ui path okay this is my ui path folder and if i want to save it here what i will do is uh, i will give this path in the double quotes okay and in this folder it will save it here okay so now I'll quickly run this one and it will go and save it in that folder so execution is stopped see its new screenshot is saved now if I am using a excel parameterization I need to take a screenshot for each and every row and save it as a uh, specific row and uh, for every row it has to take a screenshot for each and everything so I will show you how it will work so what I will do is I uh, will take uh, both of these things into the existing flowchart which I made before using the parameterization okay so in this parameterization so for this one how, to, how I did this all this parameterization you can view or refer my previous video I will give the link in this one also please check it out so and uh, in this one I also can give the uh, what is the for which uh, row it is taking the screenshot so what I will do is uh, uh, row dot item okay and uh, serial number dot to string okay plus okay so here I will give a proper name as proper name as example Yahoo login okay Yahoo login page so if I save this one if I execute and I'm saving all these in one of the folder okay I'll quickly run this uh, this one I'll make this as a starting node and I'm running this one now we'll see how it works and compilation error as image has occurred so maybe because uh, I'll quickly check why it is throwing the errors okay so it is because I didn't keep any of the variable for this image right so image okay 
imported from the namespace or the okay I'll quickly take as variable control K image okay now it is works now I'll run this one it has launched the okay the internet is quickly I'll quickly on this internet okay I'll rerun this I'll rerun this flow and you can check that one So I have entered the three three rows in the Excel sheet. So it will it will uh, open the three bra three times the browser and uh, take the data and close the browser. So this is the second uh, iteration, and it will open the third iteration also. So in the third iteration, it is uh, giving the data and it will exit after giving the gender value. Okay, the flow has exited now. I'll quickly check the screen charts okay so if you see the screen charts one uh, yahoo page this is the first flow and this is the second flow and this is the third flow and also it has taken the serial numbers also for each and every row so what are these numbers are taken from the excel sheet which are given as a row numbers so i'll sh show you how it has taken the data so in this test data sheet so i've given the serial numbers okay from these serial numbers it has taken the row from the row, row dot item so i hope you understood how to take the screenshots using the ui path so please uh, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel